Hello, this is our five foot pull type grader box that we have custom built. These are for sale. This one's actually sold, but we build them one at a time as we get orders for them. This is our first attempt in a, at a electric linear actuator version. Normally we use a hydraulic cylinder there to raise and lower the box, but in the event that your vehicle doesn't have hydraulics to the rear, then you can simply use this version and hook onto the battery and power the box up and down. A couple of the key features here, of course we've got our actuator that controls the box up and down. We've got greasable pivot joints at the, at the axle. The hubs on the wheels are also greasable. You can see the grease coming out there actually. As I said, the, uh, the cutting edge is reversible. So once that wears down, which I think is going to take a long time, you can flip it over and use the other side. We also have a removable tongue, um, not only for shipping purposes, so that we can kind of break this thing down a little bit, but also for storage. If you're going to set this aside for the winter or something like that, you can remove the tongue. It takes up a lot less room. We've also, there's a dowel pin on the back side of this tongue for alignment purposes. When you go to put this back on, simply slide it onto the dowel pin and that way it holds itself in place while you try to start these four bolts rather than trying to hold it and fight it. We've also got a disconnection point here in the wiring harness so that if you do take the tongue off and set it aside you can remove that. We've also got a disconnect just like that up here at the end of the drawbar. So if you want to leave the wiring attached to the vehicle simply unplug it here and you can remove the implement. The wiring comes up into a switch box with a dual position momentary switch for up and down. Out of the back of the switch box, we've got wiring that goes to the battery. Please excuse the dirty, rusty tractor. Clamp onto the battery and then your switch box is active. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works here. I've been actuating it quite a bit, so the battery's getting weak, but go ahead and go down. See the grader box going down there. Back up. Now if you're like me, you're seeing this for the first time, you think it moves very slow. And when, uh, when compared to the hydraulic version, it is quite a bit slower. But we had to compromise a little bit in our actuator selection so that we had something that moved relatively slowly when trying to be at a working height. In other words, you want one little button press to not move that cutting edge too much. Because if it does, then you lose what you're trying to do in terms of grade. So we went with something that was a little slower so that it would be good for grading, because that's where the, where the important part of the work is anyway. Uh, when you want to go into the transport mode all the way up, it might take you 15, 20 seconds to get all the way up there, but then you're just back to the barn. So I think it's going to work well with the speed we've chosen for the actuator. Uh, of course, it's not all the way up right now. I, don't, I can't do it with this hitch that's on here. But this is our 5-foot electric pull-type grader box option. We don't have an official website yet, but we are building these for sale. So if you see something here you like or you want to custom build it somehow to your application, we can try to accommodate that. Just leave a comment below in the comment section and we can get back to you. This particular version here with the electric actuator is $850. I think you're getting a lot of equipment here for the price. Uh, there's a lot of labor involved and it's well built so it'll hold up. So let us know if you're interested and thanks for watching.